Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Well, we have to start off with what is now Tropical Storm Harvey. It did make landfall as a major Category 4 hurricane near Rockport, Texas last night, about 11 o'clock our time. Now, even though it is weakened, it is still a very, very strong tropical storm with winds sustained at 65 miles per hour. And unfortunately for eastern Texas, this storm has become stationary. So as we were saying for the past several days, the biggest concern with this was not going to be the storm surge. It was not going to be the strong winds, although those were a big concern as well. It was really going to be the fact that this was not going to move and it was going to have a lot of time to drop a lot of water on eastern Texas. So even people that thought of evacuating farther inland out towards Austin, San Antonio, clearly that wasn't even a great decision and it wasn't going to be from the start because they were going to experience a lot of water as well. So here we are. Let's put a track on this for you. We're going to take you all the way through Tuesday and as you can see, it is not going to move, even though it will likely weaken back to a tropical depression or even just an area of low pressure, it is still going to have a lot of water associated with it. So it is not going anywhere all the way into the middle of next week. So again, we're talking upwards of 15 to 25 inches of rain spanning across hundreds of miles across eastern Texas. And locally, we could see rainfall amounts up to 35 inches. In fact, there are parts of Texas that have already picked up 15 inches of rain just in a span of 24 hours. So it's just unbelievable. Here's a look at the future track forecast for this. And again, we're we're going to take you out through about Tuesday and you can see at least by Tuesday some of the moisture will start to push in to the Gulf states of Louisiana, Mississippi and parts of Alabama. But I would even argue that some of the rain will still continue through Texas on into Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday of next week. So unbelievable situation for them. But our attention here is now going to be on Invest 92. You can see it right here in between Jacksonville and Miami. This will likely just skirt off the east coast of Florida and likely become either a tropical depression or tropical storm as we go into early next week. So here's a look at kind of the big picture with our future track forecast. You can see this area of low pressure getting a little more organized. We have a lot of moisture that is going to be riding right along the coast all the way into Hampton Roads. So right now we could be looking at a decent amount of rain as we go into Tuesday of next week, but that's not all. We are going to potentially be dealing with some rather strong wind gusts, rough surf, and of course you know that usually leads to some tidal flooding out there. Here's a look at our spaghetti models and you can see they're pretty consistent with riding this, again, potential depression or tropical storm right along the coastline and then kind of veering out to sea. But it won't strengthen until it gets farther out to sea, so a little bit of good news there. So let's zoom in just a little bit closer here. And as we go through your Sunday, things are looking beautiful. We'll have lots of sunshine out there. One in ten chance of a stray shower, so most of us will stay perfectly dry. Then as we go into Monday, even though this particular forecast model keeps most of the moisture to our south on Monday, I really do think we could start top, tap, tapping into some scattered showers as of Monday afternoon. But of course, of course, most of the moisture surges in on Tuesday, and so that's when we could really see the worst of it. So the potential impacts here in Hampton Roads, winds out of the northeast at about 20 to 30 miles per hour, wind gusts high than that and we could potentially see nuisance. In fact, I shouldn't even say could likely we'll see nuisance to minor, maybe even moderate tidal flooding as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So some pretty decent impacts here on Hampton Roads, but you know, not the worst we've seen. So Wednesday isolated showers that day. Things get a lot quieter going through the second half of the week, Thursday, Friday on into Saturday. So right now things are looking at least decent for the start of Labor Day weekend.